This is going to be the solution to P set five of CS50, which is Speller. Obviously, don't just copy the the code. This is just for informational purposes. It might not be the best way to do it. It's probably not going to get on the big board, but it works and it passes check 50. Um, so, okay. So first of all, we want to start with load. So we'll implement load. What load is doing is it's loading the words from the dictionary into memory. Um, so basically how we're going to do that is, well, first we need to create a file pointer to the dictionary. So we'll call it dict pointer. And that's going to get F open. And the file is dictionary, which is the string where, where the parameter of the function. And then we're going to say R for read. And then we'll say if, oops. If um, dict ptr is equal to null, then we want to return false. So if it doesn't open that file successfully, we'll return false. <clears throat> okay, next we need to create a an array of characters. We'll call it a, a buffer. So char buffer, That's what, and it'll be of length, which is global, which is given to us plus one. And that buffer is going to store each word as we read it in. So it'll store, it'll only store one word um, at a time. But what we're going to do is we're going to go, we'll create a while loop. And we'll say while f scan f uh, from dict pointer btr format string. To buffer not equal to end of file. So is this doing, what's, what this is doing is it's reading in one string at a time into buffer until we get to the end of the file. So yes, yeah, so fscanf will recognize one, it'll read one string until it sees white space or null terminating character. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to create a node, struct node star temp, and we'll malloc it with size of struct node. So now that we have a node and we need to check if we are successful, say if temp is equal to null, then we'll return false. Um, and then we'll give temp to next gets null. So this node here, temp, is, is the node that we're going to add to our hash table. So basically we're loading this dictionary into a hash table. And this is the node we're adding to the hash table. So now that we have a node to add to the hash table, well, we need to copy the word that we still have in buffer right now in this buffer. We need to copy that word to the word field of the node. So we're going to do stir copy. I'm going to say temp to word is destination and it's coming from buffer. Now we have that word. Now our node is completely ready. Um, so now we need to figure out where do we put this node? Well, how do we figure that out? We need the hash code. We need to run the word through the hash function. So we'll say int hash code gets the hash function and we'll Use temp to word as the parameter. And for the hash function, I just got it off the internet. You can get a hash function off the internet. Um, here's where I got mine. The only thing I changed is I made it case insensitive because that's important for this task. Um, okay, so we run that through the hash function. And then we need to add the node to the linked list. Now first, initially I had just appended the linked lists in this code, so added it to the end, but I realized that, that it's a lot faster to add a node to the beginning of a linked list 
So that's what we are going to do. We are going to add this node to the beginning of the length lists that is located at table hash code. So we're going to say if table hash code, and you can see that's global up here, table. It's a array of pointers to nodes. So that's, those are the roots of our hat of our length lists in our hash table. So if table hash code, um, is equal to null. That means there is no linked list at that location. There are no nodes. It's not pointing to any nodes. So then all we do is say table hash code gets temp. Now it's pointing to that node that we just created. And that node is in our um, hash table in the linked list there. But if there are nodes there, then we'll say else. And all you're going to do is temp to next gets table hash code. So temp to next gets table hash code, meaning that we need to do the right side connection first. So now temp is pointing to where table hash code is pointing, but now we want to make table hash code point to temp. So all we do is table hash code gets temp. And then once we get through that while loop, we're done. We can reach the end of the file. Then we're done. So we can now close that the file, the dictionary file. So we'll say F close dict PTR because that is going to be using memory on the heap. I found out from running Valgrind. And then we'll return true. Boom. Load is done. So next, what do we have? Next we have hash, which we showed you. We, we just got that hash function from the internet. Then we have size. Okay, so size returns number in of words in dictionary if loaded, else zero if not yet loaded. So basically what we want to do is we're going to count the number of words. So, and they say in the walk that you can do this while you add these words here and load. I could just create an int and increment it every time that tracks the number of words, but whatever, we'll just do a, its own function. So we'll say int and we'll call it word count. Initialize it with zero Let's say for int I N is the number of elements in this array. I just gave it a random value. I less than N, I plus plus. What we need to do is we need to create a struct node pointer. We'll call it P. And then P gets table I. So P gets the root of uh, gets the index in, in table, which is, you know, the root of a linked list. Um, so we'll check if P is not equal to null, meaning there is a linked list there, because if P is null, then there is no linked list located at table I. Then P gets P to next. And then we increment word count. So that's it, really, just return word count. Okay. What's next? Check. Check. Okay, so for check, we return true if word is in dictionary else false and it's got to be case insensitive so just checking if the word is in the dictionary so basically the, the all the words in the diction from the dictionary are in our hash table so we need to check if the word is in our hash table so we'll, first we need the the hash value so we'll say int hash value is the return of uh the hash function so we'll say hash and word which is the parameter of the function and then we'll say if there's no linked list at that 
index. So if table index, uh, sorry, hash value is equal to null, that means there's no linked list there. I'm going to return false because obviously the word is not there if there is no linked list there. Else, we need to create a struct node to traverse the list, a struct node pointer to traverse the list, and we'll say p gets table hash value. So now p is pointing at the first node of, of the linked list located at table hash value. Okay, so now we need to create a while loop, and we're going to say while p is not equal to null, meaning it's not the end of the list. And we're going to use a function called stir case comp, which they give to you in the walkthrough. It's the same thing as stir comp, but it's case insensitive. So the two words we're comparing are the word, which is the parameter of the function word. And the other one is going to be P to word, which is the pointer where we're using to traverse the list. And we're going to say, well, that returns zero, meaning that, hey, we have a mash because stir case couple returns zero if it's a match between P to word and word. So if there's a match, what do we do? We return true. It's, it is in the dictionary. Otherwise, we just say P gets P to next, which just lets us check the next node. Uh, and then we return false if we get through this because that means that we never returned true. We never found a mesh. So we return false. Okay. What was that? That was check. So now we're on unload. So we've loaded this whole dictionary into memory, into the hash table. Now we, well, now we need to unload it. Now, how do we do that? Well, we do that by freeing every node in our hash table. So we're going to, we need to, Create a for loop that will iterate over every index in our array called table, which is, uh, so we'll say int i gets zero, i less than n, because there are n elements in our array. And we need to create two temporary pointers to struct nodes. one and then here's another one so they both get the same thing at this point they're they're both pointing at the first node in the list if there is a list so we'll create a while loop while temp2 is not equal to no, because if temp2 is equal to null, well, we've reached the end. Temp1 gets temp2. Temp2 gets temp2 to next. And then we free temp1. And then when we're done freeing everything, we'll return true. So this is very clearly explained in the walkthrough why you need these two two nodes to free memory well because temp1 gets temp2 so now they're both pointing at the same node and then temp2 points at the next node and temp1 is still pointing at the previous node so then you can free the previous node because temp2 is pointing at the next node so it's still connected to the rest of the linked list if you free the current node then you'll lose co uh, contact with the rest of the linked list so that should be it let's see if let's see if this works Try and run make. We have a couple errors. Misspelling. Yeah. Stupid mistake. Okay, so that compiled. And then we can run the code. And we'll see how it does.
Now, as I said, this is not going to be on the big board. Um, I don't think it's very... efficient to whatever, but it works. That's all that matters, I guess. <laughs>